It's a rainy night coming late out of the dojo No lights dark out on the parking lot Looking for my car, thought I left it here before Got a feeling that something ain't right Moving shadows, hear the sound of two feet See my car where my key's kind of getting spooky Oh God, now it's coming from behind My cell is gone dead as I slowly turn around and go oh, oh. Hey guys, welcome back to The Strange Files with our little mystery solvers and oh, right then we just got some more, uh, some more creepy baby things happening, the weird weight game. Seb's just like, hey, I thought that was you. Hey, where have you been all day? Did you go hanging out with your bro? And he's like, yeah, we went out for lunch, then we went back to Ice Springs, we hung out there for a few hours and I crashed at his for a few hours because, good lord, this baby is just, you know, I don't know what I'm going to do when it's born. He's like, well, I have an idea. If you want, when it, when pop time comes, just give me a call and I'll come with you to the hospital. Okay? Because, you know, having just gone through this, I'm not going to let you go through this alone. What kind of cousin would I be if I didn't, if I, if I let you go through this alone? He's like, ah, thanks, bro. You're the best. Oh, I'll be funny. Okay. Go and just tell him a joke. Tell him a joke about Martians. Yes. That'll, that'll sure work. That'll work. Casey has oh, pleasant fumblings. Oh dear, I did see Logan around. He's somewhere. He was around. It's almost Orion's birthday. Yay, Orion's gonna be aging up into a into a toddler soon. There he is. Apparently he's talking with uh that so just go and have a bit of a chat with uh have a just complain about the heat with Logan and then see if you can just get some info. Because it's like almost midnight. She's just like, uh, oh. It's pretty late. It's pretty It's pretty late, and he said he was going to drop by anyway. So just try and have a chat with him. Just like, okay, so, have you noticed anyone around here? He's like, who's that weird dude who was hanging out with your roommate? She's like, which one? He's like, the ball of lightning, brown hair, was wearing like booty shorts or something, incredibly pale. I gave him, gave the guy a hug and then left. You know him? She's like, no, no, I don't. Maybe I'll inquire about that with uh, Cody. But thanks for, thanks for the info. Just stay around and just keep tabs on anyone. I'm gonna go inside and then I'm gonna head off to bed. And just let me know if anything, anything just weird happens. Is why he's like, yeah, sure, sure. By the way, Jack's asking questions. Don't go to Oasis Springs for. a for like a few days. She's like, stay away from Oasis Springs. Gotcha. Prank day was awful, successful, over, awful. Oh, talk to your Maeve. Hello. You know what's wrong with baby? Okay, so baby's still like crying, so probably needs feeding. Probably needs feeding. And then, dude, you can't just go to the bathroom and just leave your plates. Come on. Clean up and then in the morning you've got to go into work yeah I think we could we could go to work with Cody today maybe we've got to get him to uh get some things uh, clean and soaked yeah we've got to dry the laundry again I might get him to oh no I completely forgot he was here I know he went up to Cody's room but apparently he's just like he's walking around hey Cody do you mind uh did you mind trying to snap Logan out of his uh, little crazy spell quickly? Try to talk to him and then just try and snap him out of it. Oh man, I can I forget that he I forgot that he goes for a second. He's just like that. So, so, <laughs> just that look just then. Look to the sky, it welcomes us all. He's like, oh, this is this is great, cool. We've just got a crazy person just wandering around our house, just wandering around our house. Our oh, baby's crying still. Where did you go? Why did you go outside when your son clearly still needs you? Uh, you wanted? Did you want to talk to Erwin? Was that the case? Oh, Erwin's like still up. And stuff, man. You didn't really get much of a friendship with Erwin. You really need to become friends with him. 
So, maybe tomorrow. Tell you what, you've got plenty of vacation days. You've still got two more days. Why don't you take the day off? And just, like, go and want to hang out with Owen. Because he, cause you're going to need his advice. And also, I don't know if you'll be able to walk around in your condition at work. That might be something. Cody's just had his... Every time he's on the... <laughs> He's had a sick breakthrough and he's like, haha. He's like, did you have to do it on the bathroom in the bathroom? Okay. Uh let me just quickly check what he knows now. So red hot. Two versions of red hot. Synthetic. And he's got two sim rays. Momentum conserver and sim ray. Why three sim rays? That's confusing. Rose perfume serum. Why does I think it's yeah. That should, one of them should be. One of them should say rose perfume. One should definitely be some other things. I'm not entirely sure what's going on there. Hmm. What he doesn't know won't hurt me, so it's fine. He's heard the same thing again. Oh no, that was a uh, that was for Ryder. Ryder knows. Ryder's keeping secrets from people as well. What does Air? What is Aries hiding? Because Cody is still just like, oh, is he just? I uh, yeah, he's just like, oh man, just oh, this weight gain is awful. Why do I feel so huge? But what is Aries hiding? Let's find out what he's hiding. Could be anything. I'm gonna send seven today. Don't worry, Cody's not going to work today, so he can look after Orion. And Casey, I'm gonna have her get up and just make some nice healthy breakfast steps on the floor, sure. And I have her go and just make a nice breakfast of fruit salad. Because she's a vegetarian and really that's all she can, uh, she just lives off salads. Don't worry where the money came from, it's fine, nobody's gonna find out. Ooh, Aries is hiding so many secrets from you. From you, Cody. He's hiding so many secrets from you. He's. He's got money. He's given someone money, and it's not to worry where the money came from. Embezzling grants, maybe. And, you know, he's hiding something from you because what? What he doesn't know won't hurt you. Hurt you specifically, Cody. Cody's just like. Cody's just like, God, this guy is so mysterious. How is he my best friend? And he's got so many secrets. This is so, this is so creepy. It's so creepy. And do you know what? Okay, something happened at the restaurant. Yes, in the last episode that I didn't get to show you guys. But he, uh, Cody went and asked, um, Cody asked Aries for a DNA sample. And Aries said no. Aries said no, which was... A very very interesting thing. It was it was so odd though because it was just like he was just like because I thought maybe he could get it and learn some more stuff about him, but he was just like nah nah. And then Cody was just like sure, sure okay. So Cody's taking another day off. Go in and just help, uh, help uh, Casey clean up a bit. Let her know that you're uh, staying home because you know alien babies and. Uh, just say you guys going to go and get the key card and try and open up the lab today. I don't know where Logan is. I think he's left. I think Logan did leave. But he might have left. He must have left on his own then in his possessed state. Because he should still be around. He should still be around and that's the weird part. That's the weird part. Grab a some breakfast, have a chat with Casey, and just let her know how things are d going. And then you guys can actually go and get a uh, invite, invite to feel the baby. Do that. We'll do that after everything. She's like, "Hey, you're not going into work today." He's just like, "Nah, nah. I don't want to see Aries because he's hiding something from me, and that's like the creepy part." And also, you know, just you know, we're gonna try and see if we can get some key cards today. I think. Erwin might have some. He did say he's got some, so we can go and find some. We can give him our evidence and get some get some keycards to go into the lab. There, she's like, it's an idea. 
It's an idea. I do you know where uh do you know where Logan went off to? I did not see him after he kind of went a bit cuckoo bananas. Last night he's like, Oh yeah, so cuckoo bananas. I don't know where he went though. I think he went out the he went out the front door and then I never saw him after. Reveal the deep secret. Reveal the secret that that's an alien baby. Should you have a license for being that ugly? <gasps> oh, Liane. She's just like an alien baby. <gasps> Is that why you're fat? He's like, yeah. No way. No way. He's just like, totally. Remember, you know, all those aliens I keep hanging out with? They finally asked me to be part of the project. And, you know, I figured I'd be part of it. Come on. This keeps happening though, every time. But you know, have a have a feel. I don't know what it's gonna be yet. That's gonna be the weird part. She's like, huh? Oh, that's so weird. That's so. That's so weird. Do you think I could get an alien baby out of this? He's like, look, I don't think we're gonna need more in this house. She's like, you're right. You're right. Plus, I don't think I want kids. You know, I don't think I want kids yet. I'm young. I'm young. There's still so many mysteries out there to solve. I can have kids later. He's like, sure, just don't be like me and, you know, get abducted three times and end up having to look after an alien baby for the rest of your life. She's like, oh, it doesn't sound so bad. He's like, oh, it's not too bad. Right, let's go and get those key cards from Erwin. Uh, excuse me, Mr. Conspiracy Man, what are you doing? Just staring at this plant outside of us, outside of our house. He's just out for, wait. <gasps> Weren't you the one? Weren't you the one that was out on a... Having dinner with Bjorn? Weren't you the one having huh? dinner with Bjorn? Oh. We know your secret. I mean, we still gotta find out the secret of Bjorn Bjorkson. He's keeping secrets from us. <laughs> Cody's just like, trudging along. <gasps> baby's crying. Oh no, baby's crying. Seb wants another baby. Guys, what do you do when you get you get an alien baby and then you want another one? No, Casey, no, don't run away. Come on, we gotta go and talk to Erwin. We gotta go talk to Erwin. Cody's just like, hey, Erwin, you wanted evidence for this Strangeville mystery? Well, I've got all the evidence you're gonna need. Now, here's the dossier. Give me that key card, bro. He's like, you actually have enough evidence? Nice. And then Casey is gonna also give over the dossier as well. She's like, hey. Oh, she's actually got to request the keycard. I forgot she has to do that. I forgot she's got to request the keycard. This has happened before. <laughs> this happened before. Okay. Give him the dossier and get the keycard. And then just have a chat with have a chat with Erwin. Just like, we've got the key cards, we'll let you know if anything else happens. He's like, is there a reason uh, Cody's just passed it on the floor? She's like, he's fine. He's fine. Cody, get up and assure Erwin that you're fine. He's just like, oh, I'm okay. Oh, you even bigger now? Yeah, you are now. Abnormal changes to body. You really need to get to baby. He's just like, oh god, we've left that baby in the house for too long. I need to go and check and see if he's all right. Seb will kill me if I leave, if I leave Ryan on his own for too long, especially with all the creepy people hanging around. Casey, you just stay chatting with her. You just stay chatting with her in for now. He's just like, hey, I'm sorry I left you. Don't worry, it's okay. It's okay. I'm so sorry. I want to feed, yeah, feed, feed Ryan as well. He's like, I'm sorry I left you. Look, daddy's daddy's gone to work, but you know what? I'm here. I'm here. I'll look after you. Hey, do you think you do you think you and mine are gonna be siblings? I think you you both have the same pollination technician for a mother. You can't answer my question, but you never know. I think they do. I think it's the same poll pollinator around. I'll need to check. I'll need to check when uh the baby's born. Okay, baby should be fine now. Uh, why don't you go off to sleep? I got your number personally to tell you that you suck. Seth, you know Casey already. 
Do you really have to tell her she she sucks? Oh wow. Lacking corporal. Oh nice, Audrina got a promotion. You really need to go to the bathroom. Tonight I'm thinking they go and open up the door and lie. Well here's the thing, they both have to open the door. I might have them both open the door at different times. Maybe. I think that's how you kind of get around that that situation. So I'll have her and Logan go together tonight. And then uh, Cody and Ares the next night, I think. And then Cody's gone to sleep. Cody's gone to sleep. His abnormally changing body is terrifying him. And Casey is going off to the bathroom. And then I'm going to have her also shower and then take a nap. And then around in the evening I'll have her and Logan go out to the lab and find out what's behind door number one. <laughs> Cody dreaming of the day he gets to go to a tropical island. Maybe dreaming of the mermaids there. He still has the picture, by the way. He's he's not too fussed about, you know, Just he's just like a picture of an alien. Cool, I'm just going to keep that on my wall because, you know, it's cool. It's cool. He's got his little trophies as well. He's still got the rose and the uranium. Which he could send off. You can't really do much with the refined rose though. It's because he doesn't own the item so he can't really do much with it. Cody earned some money on his day off. That's all good. He's probably going to get a promotion the next time he goes into the lab. Which will probably have to be... No, it can't be tomorrow. He's going to miss... He's, well, actually, I don't know. I would say he might have to miss work tomorrow. But I'm not sure. Oh no, baby's crying again. This kid does not stop. This kid just doesn't stop. Okay, Seb. I don't think I, I don't I don't think he ever sleeps, Seb. Although just you know, the crying doesn't face him. The crying doesn't face him too much if you can get up and just be like, right, gotta check on my son. My secret closet son. Gotta hide in my wardrobe. Because where else are you gonna hide a baby? There you go, baby's fine. Go back to sleep. Alright. Audrina, uh, Casey, rather. Let's phone up Logan and tell him to meet us at the lab. Actually, before you do that, who's texting Cody? Let's not tell him. <gasps> Ares is wondering if Cody wants to go over and hang out at his house. Oh, We were supposed to be going to the lab with Casey. But that doesn't mean that he can't, he can't not go. Okay, well, I'm going to send... Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to send Cody over to Ares's. And everything should be fine. Nothing weird should happen. And I will check on Cody later on. But we are going to go over to the lab. And meet up with Logan to open up door number one. That's going to be the plan. Ah! Uh, guys. I'm a concerned. I've only just... I just brought him over. And... Why are you in a floaty mood all of a sudden? Oh, okay. Let's blame it on the hormones, but also I don't like the way you're looking at. I don't like the way you're looking at Aries. I don't know what the, I don't like what this alien pregnancy has done to you. Oh man, I think I'm gonna need to just keep a little bit of a close eye on him for now. I know you're hungry. And you go to the bath, Jesus, Cody. You're a wreck. You're a wreck, but I don't like how. Oh, I my sims are just all degenerates who find, you know, having some alone time in their beds like the next best thing to a computer now. Now how it used to be that everyone would just always be on their computers? They found something better. They found something better and apparently that is getting under the covers and giving themselves a treat. It's like, oh man. Oh man, I feel bad for... I'm just so... I, I just find it so weird that Cody got into a flow mood as soon as he started hanging out with Ares. That is just so weird. Try and talk to him at least. Do some banter. Do some... Do some banter. Do some inviting. Do some deep secret revealing. Do you find it interesting that Ares is kind of keeping a wide berth of him? Just staying at least five feet of... Ah. All the friendly stuff. All the friendly stuff. If if like, I'm not gonna go near the romance thing. If any, like that's gonna that's that's between, that's 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 their undoing. 
That'll, that'll be the autonomy kicking in. But for now, I'm just gonna do all the friendly interactions. If any little hearts pop up, then uh, you know, that's 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 them. That's him. That's all him. That's not me. I told you to go, just go and get a drink just to get your hunger up. But apparently, Cody's answer to that was to just also get into the bathtub as well, whilst keeping his hat on. And, you know, just, I, I don't even know what's going on with... <laughs> and then he gets out of the bathtub once he's done with the drink. Wow. Cody is just all kinds of, like, crazy, aren't you? Oh, what are you doing now? And, cool, they're just napping together. Hey, guys, do you ever just nap with your bro? In bed? Fully clothed? Two bros just napping. Cool. I think I'm just gonna leave these guys to their own devices. I was supposed to be going to the lab with Casey, but Cody just... Cody? Cody's just being Cody. And here we are at the lab at half twelve at night. Logan here, still unsure why he's being roped into all of this, but we have the, uh, the key card. And Casey is gonna go and see... Because she's collected all the evidence, she can't collect any evidence. No. So they're gonna go, and they're gonna go and find out what's behind door number one. Is it monsters? Is it aliens? Is it plants? We don't know. I'm assuming plants. She's just like, alright, Logan, you ready? Let's go and find out what's behind this door. He's just like, yeah, I'm just here to make sure you don't get yourself in any trouble, and because your friend ditched you. Where did he go again? Oasis Springs. To hang out with his friend. He's like, I don't trust that guy. Oh no. Right as a... Right as a, she opened the door, Logan went cuckoo bananas. There's a... Uh, there's this. She needs to collect spore clusters, assemble the hazmat suit, and traverse the deepest part of the secret lab. So she needs to get an infection scanner. And once she's got that, she can start looking for a uh, spore clusters. So she needs to create the infection profile data, which she can't do yet. She's just like, oh, Logan. Oh, you poor beautiful thing, you. Whatever happened to you? He's just like... <laughs> He's just like giggling and laughing. Attempt to talk to him. Because she's also noticed the, uh, the thing as well. Okay, he's going up the stairs. What's down this way? Try and walk in. She's just like, oh, what? what is this? Ugh. Oh, I don't like that. That's not good. That's not good. She's like, oh, I, I don't feel good. Oh, no. And she, yeah, down she goes. Down she goes. These spores are too toxic, toxic to pass without protection. But now she is herself possessed. She's got 25 minutes of being possessed. I mean, I don't know. With Casey, it's kind of funny. It's a very Joker-esque kind of thing. She's, gonna, she's still feeling the pain. The, the mother plant controlling her. It's just like, what is this pain I am experiencing? She's just like, huh, that was weird. Oh, no. Wait. She's not possessed. Why was her face still doing the thing then? That's creepy. Oh, here he comes. <laughs> I was like, where did Logan go? He's here. He comes. <gasps> the plants have all changed. Ooh, take a picture of the plant, and then view it, and then nurture it. Oh no, he's nurturing it so she can harvest the fruit. He's just like, hello, friends. Hello, plant friends. Let us create beautiful fruits. She's like, oh, the plants have changed. What on earth is this? That's weird. Photo of the bizarre plant has been added into your sim inventory. So you can harvest the fruit now. And then it goes back to sleepy buys. She's like, huh. What? That's interesting. This plant's gone. Where is Logan gone? Logan. Where is Logan? Actually, where? Oh, he's just he's just talking to all the plants. She's, he's just sort of talking with the plants, apparently. Just harvest the fruits, then. Where'd he go? 
He's still around, but I don't know where he's gone. This is not a big lot, so it's... Well, I say it's not a big lot. I, you can't build on this. It sh he shouldn't have gone too far. Where's he gone? Did he go down into the lab? Yeah, why don't you head on home as well then, Casey? You've, it's almost five in the morning, and you've just discovered the mystery. The mystery of Strangerville. Cody still needs to go back to the... Uh, go through the door as well at some point. But Cody's kind of preoccupied. Why is your... F I, I don't know what's up with Cody. Cody's just... Oh man, actually. We actually need to go and switch control to Cody, actually, because I think crunch time is approaching. Okay, Cody's still here. Ares is in here playing chess, and you are super, super tired. Let's go just, just nap then. Ares doesn't care, because also I have given him a trait. That means he could actually nap on the bed without being told to not nap in the bed. But Ares is just playing chess currently with himself. Just thinking about things. I don't know what he's thinking about. Being a geek. Whilst Cody just sleeps. Whilst Cody just sleeps. I mean, I still it still it still baffles me. It still baffles me that Ares invites him around. Cody's like, sure, I'll go over and hang out with you. Immediately gets there. Gets into a super flirty mood due to the hormones from the alien. And then Cody, Ares goes off and has a nap and then Cody joins him in said nap there is a weird dynamic here and I don't know what it is and I don't know if I'm going to find out I don't know if I want to find out Cody Cody what what is your what are your intentions okay our dream is going into work Seb is also going into work Casey's at home oh no she's still at the lab apparently And Cody is here sleeping, but I think I'm I'm back here because crunch time is approaching, and I don't know when it's gonna pop, but I know it's going to soon. So I need to just be very careful. Also, he's very tired. How you've been here all night then? Casey goes off to the lab. You've been here since like what six, seven o'clock in the evening, and you're still here like twelve hours later. And you still haven't set foot in this room, wherever it is. I don't know. It's weird. I don't know what the dynamic is between these two. It's an odd friendship. If you can even call it a friendship. That is. Yep, there we go. Crunch time. Uh, Seb's got into work, so you might have to bring Ares with you. Just sort of panic. And just sort of... Just panic and tell him what's going on. And then just ask if he can come with you because that's a full green bar. He's just like, he's just like, hey, Ares, uh, I, I kind of need your help with someone. Do you mind driving me to the hospital really, really quickly? He's just like, oh, God, really? Yeah, sure, sure, sure. I, I don't have a car, but I'll get you there somehow. He's like, please hurry, because I'm just, I'm in a lot of pain right now. Go in. Check in. Don't think we've got a... No, we don't have someone. Okay, and he's got, God, they always leave. If it's not, like, the actual parent of said child, then you end up going through this alone. Just check in anyway, Cody. Oh, I feel bad for you. You code like Seb did say, you know, did say to uh, you know, give him a call so he could come with you. But you know, Seb went into work and didn't know that crunch time was at half eight in the morning. This is in the daytime. This time he's just like, hi, I'm here for emergency surgery. Cool, thanks. I'm gonna go. Oh, it's Rosentine. Hey, she delivered the baby last time. I guess she's uh. I guess she's just on, she's not delivering today. No, someone else is delivering today. Don't worry, Cody, you'll be fine. He's like, oh, I hope we're going to be okay. This is really fun for me. 
the right Seb was like in the same position like a week ago and it's a heat wave today as well wow I've actually got a whole look because this is the space baby so we've got to have space names Phoenix is apparently a space name Cody gave birth to a baby girl oh let's see what the girl names are on this list oh that's so cute okay uh, the galaxy news for girls Galaxia Andromeda very easy and I've used Andromeda before isn't it? I know I just saw it Celeste Jet Celeste Jet that's not too bad it's not too bad of a uh, name there's also like other things like Faye and Galaxy Gemini could be one if they were twins maybe Juliet, Larissa, Lida, Luna, Lyra Right, but I think Celeste is nice. Yeah, so we've got Celeste Jet. That's actually kind of cute. That's actually, that's that's quite cute. So Orion's got, I'll have to check the uh, genealogy in a second. Oh, Kelly. Ah. Kelly. Oh, so Achievement very special delivery. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's why. Okay, so if I check on the genealogy now. So, so Celeste and her half-brother Ryan because that's the alien Kelly Winters. Oh she's actually got a name then. Oh yeah. Of course she's got a name because I edited her in cast. I had to summon her to see what she looked like and the cat, the CC just looked awful so obviously I had to you know put my own spin on put my own spin on pollination technician number three and she's a beautiful blue lady which means that Orion and Celeste are both going to be blue as well as they get older, which is kind of cute. So Cody's got a beautiful baby girl named Celeste. That's so cute. That's okay. I just immediately gets into his like espionage gear. Just like, cool, no one is uh, seeing me walk out of this hospital with this baby. He's just like, oh, and she's so cute. Just thank you, doctor, for uh... Just thank you, doctor. I should be going home now to my uh... to my child. Yeah, the blooming has begun. The blooming has begun right as the uh right as Celeste and he's got to No, I told him to take the t oh, oh god. Okay, just go into work then. And the O bills. Orion and Celeste have returned from daycare. So he's gone off to work. Casey's at home. Audrina want is getting asked to join the garden gnomes. Casey's over here, I don't know why Celeste is in Audrina's room, but I'm going to go and pop her up in the attic. I mean, that, that really says something about where these babies are kept, aren't they? One is kept in a closet and the other's being kept in the attic. Uh, but, you know, this is because it's Cody's room. Actually, let's pop the baby just over here for now. Cody has kind of texted Casey to just be like, oh, is there a just to be like, cool, just so you know, my, my space daughter has just arrived. Can you please look after her? Because they need me in for work and I'm going to come back in a few hours. Don't you worry. She's just like, oh, good. I go from being housekeeper to a nanny. That's sure. That's that's that's. And yeah, good thing Orion's just sleeping. She's just like, oh, this is the baby. Oh, that's wonderful. Oh, look, it's got pointy little ears and it's smelly and hungry. She's like, cool, I have to be a babysitter now. I signed up for mysteries. Not intergalactic babysitting. But sure. sure. Don't worry. And there's like all these little floaty things everywhere. Although now that she's come up, she's just like, who on earth is that on the wall? What kind of things is Cody into? Because she's just noticed the uh, the picture of the mysterious alien. Cool, that's not good. That kid's going to be crying for hours. That kid's going to cry for hours because... She can't get into the bedroom. But it's going to be an interesting dynamic now. There's two alien babies in the house. Casey is only aware of one of them. The other one is crying in the closet. And Seb is having to deal with so much. Seb's doing okay now. He's have, he's be, he's handling parenthood pretty well. And Cody is just having one hell of an adventure. And I don't even know what is going to be going on with him there. So thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know if there's anything you want to see in this series. Do you want like Casey and Logan to do more mysteries? Do you want her to go and snoop in on the Helios crew? 
Do you want Ares to maybe join the fray as a mystery solver? Do you want Cody to do anything specific? Now that he's got an alien kid, do you want him to go find more aliens? Do you want Cody to have every kind of occultic baby that exists? You know, mermaid babies, vampire babies, spellcasting babies, robot babies. <laughs> Who knows? Let me know. And I'll see if I can get it done. So thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye bye now. Go, go, go to the deep end. I just want